We're going to do a couple of four-part writing examples with Roman numeral analysis and figured base um, in Finale 2011. Uh, because we're using 2011, we'll be using a third-party uh, analysis font called Sicilian Numerals. Um, it's, uh, it's quite easy to use. Uh, Finale 2012 has a new figured base font that is quite usable, and uh, we'll cover that in a later tutorial. We'll start out by using the Setup Wizard. and setting our papers to paper to A4. We could just use a piano with no staff name. We could also go select a uh, grand staff with the, from empty staves, but this will be fine. And enter in our Our first example is in 3-4 and it's in the key of F major. And then both of the examples are five measures each, so a total of 10 measures we need are needed. So we'll go ahead and start there. And now we have our score set up. All right, so let's go ahead and format the, the score here a little bit. We'll go up to the Utilities menu, select Fit Measures. We'll lock the layout to five measures for each system. We can continue using the selection tool and we'll change the key signature for the second example to B minor. We can right click and add the new time signature which will be 4-4. Now you'll notice that we have courtesy time and key signatures here to get rid of that. We can still use the selection tool, select edit measure attributes and hide the cautionary clefs and key signatures. Finally let's add a double bar. We're ready to enter in our notes now. So we'll select the Simple Entry tool. And before we do, let's go up to the Simple Entry me uh, menu and select Simple Entry Options. And I want to turn off Create New Measures since we already have enough measures. Now to enter the notes, we press the 6 key for a half note. And then we can use the MIDI keyboard to begin entering our notes. Add dots after you've entered a note. Now to enter in the alto voice, we'd like the stems to go down, so we need to switch to layer two. And then we'll use some shortcuts to get us back to the beginning. And then finally, start with the sixth key for our half note again, and just play the notes in. You'll notice that the stems will change direction Oops, if you make a mistake, just use the back space key. So now to enter our notes in the bass clef, we'll also use layer 1 and 2, not layer 3 and 4. So let's go down to the bass staff and back to the beginning. Our first note is a half note, and we'll just go ahead and enter those in. And now I've realized that I've just made a very common mistake. I entered this layer, the tenor line, in layer two with the stems going down. I want them to go up. So I'm going to have to change that. I can go to the selection tool. Fortunately, it's very easy to fix. Um, we select that, the notes, and we select move copy layers, and we move layer two into layer one. Click OK, and so now it's in the correct layer. Let's go ahead and make sure now we are in layer one, and then we'll go ahead and enter in 
the rest of our notes in the tenor line, okay, starting on this F sharp. If you enter in a note with a mouse, make sure you use the arrow key to move you to the next entry position. Okay, and so now we'll go back to layer one, and here's a shortcut command option one. And we'll go to Command Option 2 to Layer 2 now. And so we'll go ahead and now enter in our bass notes. So now all of our notes are entered in correctly. So now we're ready to put in the analysis. Um, we're going to go ahead and start with um, the analysis itself. And so we use the lyrics tool to do that. Click on the first note and then go to the text menu and select the font. And the font we're looking for is Sicilian numerals right there. And then we type in our, begin typing in our analysis. Now with Sicilian numerals, um, you're using I's and V's, um, O for the for a diminished symbol, oh, that's not diminished, um, 5, and then for um, figured base with two numbers, um, if you want a number to go up, you press the shift key, and if you want it to go down, you don't. minor now, and again, shift 6, 4 to get the 6, 4, 6. For the diminished chord, use a 0, and then a 6. So that's our analysis. Just a couple of little things to do. Um, let's clean things up a little bit. We'll get rid of the extra text that we don't need. All right. We'll go to, go to the page layout tool and pull this all the way over to the left. And then finally, we want to go ahead and enter in our keys. And we'll double click here with the text tool. And that's in the key of F. And this one is in the key of B minor. And we might want to move those around just a little bit. Line those up just a little better. And that should do it.